Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sherman here, and welcome to episode 11 of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for today's episode, please click the like button down below for me. And yeah, let's have a quick run through of what happened in the last episode. If you guys missed the last episode, please make sure to go check it out because I'm spoiling it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way, well, we were in Tank Carrot Hill originally, uh, we did a little bit of exploration around there, made our way to the marina in Haoli City, and we landed in Akala Island. So this is the second island in Alola. Um, really looking forward to seeing what this island has in stock for us, because it's actually a little bit more to this island, apparently, from what we, uh, from what we got at the start, uh, at the end of last episode, than what was on Mele Mele Island. So, um, Definitely looking forward to seeing what's going on. Um, before we dive into what we're going to be um, doing in this episode, let's have a very quick team recap for you guys. So out in front, we have our Wolfhound. So Rockruff, who joined the team in the last episode, is out in front. Rocking out with Lear, Sand Attack, Bite, and Howl. Lacks nature, so he's a, he's, he's a lax little puppy. You know, he's, he's nice and chilled. He's nice and chilled with good, solid endurance. I like that. After that we got a, uh, uh, we have Beetle our Grubbin holding the Quick Claw, so as we can you know, outspeed a few months. Uh, with Spark, Bug Bite, Mud Slap, and Bite, um, Lonely Nature who likes to relax a lot. And then last but not least we have Archer our Rowlet rocking our Tackle, Raise Leaf, Astonish, and Peck, Jolly Nature who likes to not off a lot. So a pretty chill guy, you know. And that is our team at the moment, you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's kind of press on and see what's up ahead. Let's, have, let's chat with this guy first, though. Before you attempt your trial, you would probably want to get ready in Panolia one last time. But where do you get ready for Route 4 so you can make it all the way to Panolia Town? That's a good question. But here we are anyways. Let's see what's going on. Stop right there. Oh, God. Cutscene. What's happening? Ah, ha, ha. We didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing your island challenge. I'm Dexio. Wait a minute. My name's Sheena. A beautiful, a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I think the uh, these are the two from X and Y, aren't they? From Kalos. They're they're what's called the Professor Sycamore's assistants, aren't they? I think so. I'm pretty sure. I'm 95 percent sure. We well, are seeing the sights of Alola. It's unique tradition of island challenge. It's pretty fascinating. I've got to say. Oh, I've got an idea. You and Dexio should battle. Oh, and why should we do that? He says. Mm. Though I might as well test my skills. Is that alright with you? Alright, let's do this. Then I'll let my partners go wild. Alright, let's do it. I have to say, they definitely look like they're on holiday. Definitely rocking out with the holiday attire. As we go up against Dexio. Pokemon trainer Dexio. Oh, he's got a pretty cool sprite. And I'm liking his shades. As he rocks out with slow por a slow poke first. Now, I am not a fan of this. I am not a fan of this matchup at all at the moment. Um, so let's get out of here and let's go out into Archer who can eat a water gun. Because I know for a fact that uh, slow poke does get water, water gun at this level. So let's get out. Yeah. Let's get out of here to eat this like a champ. Come on, Archer. Thank you. And let's, let's just straight up go for the Razor Leaf. Knock this slow poke out. Come on, come on, Archer, you got this. Oh, slow poke, eat that up. That's mad. And we and we do eat up the confusion though, which is nice. I'm gonna go for another razor leaf. Um, I think I, have the, I do have the sharp beak. I put the sharp beak on Rowlet actually. I've totally forgot to mention that because uh, I I've to I realized I got the sharp beak during one of my episodes. And I was like, wait a minute. I should really use that. I should really use that. <laughs> you know, be smart. But our archer is, you know, barely taking on that slowpoke. Like, slowpoke was sponging up them, like, super effective hits. It was insane. But at least we gained a level there, which is nice. Which is nice. And Wolfhound gets a bit of experience as well. And the next out is Espeon. Now, I'm switching here. I'm going to go on to Beetle because Beetle can knock this thing out with a bug bite. And it will be a non issue. So out comes Beetle, perfect, and out comes this Espeon. Alright, okay, level 16, wow, okay, we're just on par, just on par. Let's go for the Bug Bite, as this Espeon's going to go for Confusion. This this will hurt, that hurts a ton. 
But my bug... My bug bite doesn't kill. My bug bite doesn't kill. Okay, hold on. I'm not going to be able to eat another confusion here. I am ju I'm just simply putting not. 23 special defense. Okay, hold on. Wh what about the other guys? Hold on. Summary. Hold on. Can I, can I tap? Yeah, I can. I can tap it. Right. Uh, 23 special defense. What about you? 16. Oh, my God. That did so much to me. It wasn't even funny. Um, I say we have to go for a super potion here. And see how much happens. Actually, have I just got a regular potion? Because that did so much to me. It was insane. Did over half. Hopefully it goes for like a leer or something this time. Nope. Nope. Not happening. And I have nothing that wants to come in on this. Like, absolutely nothing wants to come in on this. Alright, let's try one super more super potion. I may have to sack Beetle here, actually. Which would be a shame. Don't really want to be sacking my mons. Like, so, so early into the LP. Sacking mons like that. But Beetle gets hit again. Alright, okay. Well, I think we're going to have to sack this. This, this Espeon's doing all sorts of damage to me. Alright, let's pray that the Quick Claw pops. If any, there was a time I needed a Quick Claw to pop, it was now. Nope. Not happening. Alright, so down goes Beetle. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. We got body there, though. Um, I'm happy enough for Rolfhound to come out here and just KO this thing and eat up all the experience. I don't see why not. Uh, let's go for the bite. Dexio has been a douche. Come on, Wolfhound, you can eat this. You can eat this. <gasps> you live on one! You beauty! Oh my god, how did we live on that? Wolfhound, you barely ate that. But we gained so much experience. We consumed that experience. Beautiful. And we learned ro Rock Throw, which is fantastic. We finally get a stab. Lear, you're getting out of here. I do not want Lear anymore. I've Rock Throw now. Come on. That's it, Wolfhound. Well done. Oh my days. A lot of trainers have a different charm than those in Kalos. Ah, they are the boys in Kalos. They are, definitely. Definitely. Even though he knocked us out. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No way. Oh, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> we're getting, oh, we're getting evolution this episode. That is amazing. Oh my god, Rowlet. Oh my god, Rowlet. Rowlet no more. I need it changes. Look at Dartrix. Look at him. Look at him. He is so cool. He's got a he's got a bow tie. Oh my god. That is amazing. Let's have a look at his Dartrix. 100%. Definitely. Register. Dartrix, welcome to the squad, my man. Let's see. Oh, fantastic. Let's have a look. A bit of a dandy. It spends its free time Preening. I'm going to say pr uh, preening his wings, but I'm going to say it's just pruning them or whatever. Uh, its preoccupation with any dirt on its plumage can leave it unable to battle. Oh my god, you're a clean freak. You're like the Monica from Friends. Whoever, can get, Hopefully, if you, if you, you know, get, get that reference, but you are so cl clean, it's ridiculous. Hold on, Dexio. That's what I would expect from a trainer doing the island challenge. I felt the bond between you and your Pokemon. I feel like I've been able to have a glimpse of the island challenge. Let me hear your Pokemon list. Thanks. Thank you. I really needed that. I got bodied. He nods his head. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team. No doubt about it. This battle reminded me of us in the past. And that group of five young trainers. Oh my god. Right. So Kalos happened a while ago. Thank you for reminding us. I've made up my mind. I'll entrust this important item to you. Oh. The Zygar Cube. What is this? That item that I just gave you is for collecting the cores and cells of a Pokemon, Zygarde. I'll teach you the details another time, so please keep it safe for now. Oh, that was her. That was, I, sh I should have put on a female voice for her. For your island challenge, it might not be a bad idea to go to Route 4 to train your Pokemon. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Alola, oh, they even do it. That's pretty slick. Get out of here now, guys. Get out of here. And we got an evolution. Oh, my God. Right, okay. Let's have a quick... Let's have a quick look at our at our new mod, the latest addition to the team. Right, okay. 
Archer, let's have a look. You were holding a sharp beak, which is awesome. Okay, attack defense. Alright, okay, we got we have to get a bit of a boost in our stats, which is nice. Which is nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. Awesome. Awesome. Dartrix, welcome to the team, my son. Alright, well let's have a quick look at this hotel, because this is where Lily was meant to go, and I kinda wanna explore what's going on here first. This there is one more hotel on Akala Island, sir. I leave it up to up to your exquisite, exquisite taste to judge which of the two offers the most delight. Me, I refer to Thai Song Hotel. I interviewed for a job at that other place and got rejected. Ah, oh, okay. You got rejected, sadly. They say the, the tra traditional dances of Alola are meant to be an expression of thanks. Maybe the poses you use for Z powers are the same and are meant to express something. The tribal war dances, goddammit! The Z powers are tribal war dances! The sun in day, the moon in night. I love each one in turn. Sunlight at noon and streetlight at night. They kiss my skin and I yearn. Oh my god. Them bars. Them lo them rhymes. Okay, let's have a look in this hotel before we start progressing further. Definitely. What's going on? Alright, time to visit the ranch next. I just gotta... Cut. I ju I've just got to cut through Panolia Town. Alright, okay. Well done, Corsa. Well done. Now, who, who are ye? Oh, you. Are you trying to lower my attack like some Pokemon using Charm? Oh, yes. Oh, good luck. Oh, good luck to you, sir, for charming that lady. I'd love to have such a lovely lady teach me all the kind things about the Alola region. Oh, you're you're a charmer. Watch out for you. The ocean breeze dances over Heia Hitty. Heia Heia on the day I spend with you. The blue roo, the blue roo stretch on, on, on breaking as endless as the sea itself. The Lumion dance upon the waves, our cheeks flame like the setting sun. Come here to hear the song of sea, come here to hear the song of life. I wait to welcome you anytime, come to the Tide Song Hotel. That was nowhere near as impressive as the last song. Nowhere near as impressive. Good day, and welcome to the Tide Song Hotel. Okay, thank you. Oh, there's Lily. Oh, Irish. I'm sorry, I saw some people look like those teams skull thugs and I got scared. I was trying to avoid him, and then I think I ended up missing my meeting. Oh, but don't worry, it's fine. This is actually where I wanted to be. Will you be going for another one of your trials, Irish? From what I've read, I think the nearest trial site must be the one up on Route 4. Okay. Now, that's something you don't see every day. Isn't that a Rotom Dex? It shows you a lot of details about a Pokemon's distribution if you zoom in on the map just right. Okay, that's pretty slick. Do we get anything else around here? No. It's the waitlist with tables at the restaurant. Oh, 10 years waiting list? That's insane. It can't, it's hardly that good. It's not going to Ramsey or anything like this, surely. You can fit absolutely anything inside of a trainer's bag. Huh. If it was me, I'd like I sure like to tuck myself in a bag and tag along on someone's adventure. You're just a tag along, aren't you? Let's have a look at this Stammy. Stammy there busting the moves. Uh I, I think that's everything with this hotel. I didn't see any stairs or anything like that, which is kind of disappointing. Like, that place is ruled out. Yeah. I think that's the hotel. I think that is the hotel. And I'm pretty sure Route 4 is this away. Isn't it? Let's have a quick look at the the map line here. Tide Song Hotel. Yeah. The hotel is there. Route 4 is this way. And I, is the Stoutland still blocking the way here? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, all right, back we go. Route four, here we come, son. Let's see what's on Route four. What adventures await us? Okay, Route four. I can't believe we're like eleven episodes in, and we're only now getting onto Route four. It's insane. Okay, there's a few Pokemon this way. I kind of want to see what Pokemon are on this route. Really interesting to see. What's this? It's a Mudbray, and I actually want to catch this. I actually want, really want to catch this because Mudbray um, it's ground type and it, uh, if you guys don't know me I love the ground type and even though it's going to add like a huge water weakness to my team and prob probably overload my team I really want I really want Mudbray um, okay so let's see how we can catch this thing uh, ground types don't like yeah yeah bug types can eat ground so that's fine let's head out into Beetle and let's Wear out this mud bray. I really want this mud bray. Bulldoze. Okay.
Okay, we, that's just going to slow us down. It's not going to do much else other than that. Come on, Beetle. Time for you to redeem yourself. Um, okay. I'm going to go for... Yeah, let's just go for the mud, mud slap. It shouldn't kill. Although, you just keep going for bulldoze. You're trying You're trying to run me over. Trying to run me over. Okay. Let's see how much that does. Oh, that does very little. Oh, don't tell me you got the stanima. Okay, he's got stanima, which is pretty cool. I actually really want stanima. Let's go for the bite. You're plus two. You're plus one defense. We can... We, we can wear you out. We can wear you out. Fantastic. Okay, let's go for one more bite. And we, I'm pretty sure after this bite, we can go for the Pokeball. And we should catch this thing. Come on. Come on. We have this. Come on, Beetle. I don't care about your speed. You got this. You're slow already. Okay. All right. I'm going to try for the Pokeball here. Let's go for the Y button. Pokeball. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, come on, join us, join us. One, two, three. Yeah, beautiful, we caught ourselves a mud bray. Yes, yes. Fantastic. We get a bit of XP as well. Wolfhound getting the XP as well, which is the main thing. Right, we, we get mud bray added to the Pokedex. Which is pretty slick. Registered. I like the way it registers multicolored. It's like the rainbow. Anyways, let's have a look what it is. The mud stuck to Mudbray's hooves enhances its grip and its powerful running gait. Okay. Now, I do want to give you a nickname because I am going to use you. Um, despite, as I said, despite the water weakness now on my team. But I have, I have dare tricks for that, so it's fine. Um, right, I was going to call you Stallion uh, rather than Donkey because you evolve into like a pretty beast of a mod. And, and as well, we had Donkey on our Pokemon Glaze. You know, run for about three episodes or so, so I didn't really want to be using that. Um, what? But you're a female, so I kind of want to change it up a bit. What about Brown Beauty? Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Can I? Wait, hold on. Let me look down here. I apologize for looking away. B R O W N. Can I call you Brown Beauty? B E A U T Y. Brown Beauty. It is Brown Beauty. Brown Beauty, the Mudbray, is now on the team, and you should see him out in the layout now. Fantastic. I can't, I'm delighted we got that. Let's see what this Mudbray is all about. Brown Beauty. Brown Beauty with Mud Slap. Oh, look at all them, all them ground moves. Mud Slap, Mud, mud Sport. Rose O Tiller, which is a very rare move you don't often see. Um, it'd be not, it'd be, it's, not, it's nice for them grass types, you know. And Bulldoze, which we saw loads of there. And we got a Stanima, which boosts our defense when we get hit. Which is fantastic. So we're starting to build up a bit of a squad here. Definitely starting to build up a bit of a squad. Uh, Mudbury definitely needs to be brought up, as well as everybody else, which sucks. Because we have a trial coming up. You know, definitely have a trial coming up, which is not going to be fun to deal with. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let me heal up um, our Mudbury anyways. And... We can continue on with the rest of this episode. Actually, let me heal up Beetle while, while we're at it. And I say for this episode, we'll try and get Mudbright and our Wolfhound up to speed. Up to speed. Black Beauty. Brown Beauty. Brown Beauty. And, you know, Wolfhound up to speed. Right, let's go. All right, let's see what this is. And let's battle this trainer and progress along Route 4. Because this could be a long route, I think. As we come across uh, our own Beetle. We come across our own Beetle. And we, and we have Mudbray out. I'm just going to run from this. I don't see the point in battling here. I really don't. Oh my god, we're so low level. Level 11. Really poor. But let's battle this dude and get some XP. Um, question of the day for you guys today. Why we have the uh, a, a momentary break uh, between bat battling this, uh, what's it called? Bellhop. <laughs> that's, what that's such a cool name. But question of the day. Of the day. Uh, who or what is your favorite Pokemon evil organization? Uh, obviously, it doesn't have to be the main series. could be, you know, a ROM hack. could be uh, the manga, whatever. Uh, but what is your favorite? Is it like Team Rocket, Team Galactic, Team Plasma, all that kind of stuff? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, for me, I I would say Team... I would say it was Team uh, Plasma. Team Plasma. Team Plasma is Gen 5. So I would say Team Plasma. 
I think Getsis as a villain is so cool. I think Getsis is just a fantastic villain. And um, the fact that like it's it's actually a real sophisticated storyline. Um, and can I go for Rock Throw? I can go for Rock Throw. Let's do this. As he goes for Gus, we can eat that. But uh, the fact that it's such a sophisticated storyline and Gestis has kind of manipulated his whole team into thinking he's doing it for the good of the Pokemon, it's just fantastic. So uh, please don't have Aftermath, actually. Th that would be a disaster. Focus energy. Okay. But um, I, th I think it's just such a good storyline and Gestis is such a great villain and the whole team is just so evil and it comes back even eviler in, in like black and white too. So I, I'm definitely a fan. Huge fan. Having to hand over my pocket money rather than getting a tip. That's right. Give me your money. <laughs> give me your money, bitch. <laughs> Folks, don't do that at home. <laughs> don't don't be mean like that at home. Um, right. Let's drop a potion on our on our Wolfhound here. Kind of worried about Wolfhound because it's a little bit frail. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite um what's your favorite evil organization? Definitely want to hear and why and why that'd be cool. Alright, okay, so that's the trainer tip right there. Do I have to mount my Tauros here again? I think I do. Oh yeah, wait a minute, I can't... I can't go down this way? I thought I had to go through, get through Tauros here. Alright, okay, it's just the rock. It's just the rock with a tiny mushroom, that's fine. Uh, let's climb up here. Oh, there's an item here. Let's see. And we get a Zygarde cell. Alright, okay. Okay, I'm pretty. that's one of the cells. Sheena wants to talk to you. Sheena's got my number? Huh? How did how does she get my number? I didn't hand up my digits like that. She's stalking me. She's stalking me on either Facebook, the Twitter, whatever. She's stalking me. The creature that you just sucked into the cube is what we call a Zygarde cell. This Zygarde cube I gave you is like a nest for cells and cores. Your mission is to collect all the cells and cores. We get in touch. Bon chance. Bon chance. Bon chance. Gotta love them in French. You know, these winding roads sometimes have secret little spots that are easy to overlook. That's interesting. What's over here? Oh my god, he spawned me from that far away. That's insane. I am a collector, which is to say that I collect Pokemon. No! Shit. <laughs> no shit. Okay, this collector, he's got the premium balls as well. When he catches Pokemon, he goes for the premium balls. I expect these Pokemon to come out with premium balls. And they do. How comes this Munchlax? Which, you know, some brown beauty should be able to deal with. Relatively simply. So, let's try and deal with it. Um, let's go for the bulldoze and see what it's like. We outspeed the Munchlax, thankfully. And that does a fair number. And the speed is lowered. As you go for Amnesia. That's Spadef boosted, isn't it? Please be Spadef. Yes, thank you. I was not going to deal with um, a physical boosting mon right there. That was going to be painful. I have noticed though, my team is very much on the physical side, so the next one I pick up has to be somewhere on the uh, special side. Has to be. Can I just say, say be Brown Beauty's uh, ability, stand of it, it's so good. I love it. So tanky. I wonder if it actually has got a way of boosting his spadef. Or maybe if you just ran a, a salt fest on him, uh, from a competitive standpoint, it'd be pretty good. But we're going to knock out this Munchlax anyways, and we should be ready to rock and roll. But no, definitely need to pick up a special attacker somewhere. Um, definitely need to pick it up. I'd say my next one would have to be a special attacker. But I just really want to use these mons. Really want to use these mons. And Archer gets to level 18. Archer, you need to slow down the levels. He's got a big on. Who might have Dragon Rage. Let's go into Wolfhound here. Because if big on has Dragon Rage, we're in for trouble. We are definitely in for trouble. So let's go on to Wolfhound. Oh my god, my puppy. My my Wolfhound. He's so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. Uh, let's go for the rock throw. Don't see why not. And we land it. Throwing them rocks. And he goes for Dragon Breath. That's not too bad. Okay. We can deal with that. Let's go for another rock throw. Come on, Wolfhound. You got this. As we land. Okay. We land it. We're not going to knock it out this turn. But we'll knock it out the next turn. Uh, if we don't miss our rock throw, that is. Please don't. Thank you. And down goes the Bagon. Fantastic. 
Beautiful stuff. Get a bit of XP there. Wolfhound gets to level 16. Fantastic. You, it, Rolf, Wolfhound really, really climbed up the levels fast. And Beetle gets to level 17 as well, which is nice. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, you're not getting my Pokemon. You're not getting them. Not happening. Not happening. Not today. Let's get this item anyways. As we catch this revive, which is pretty awesome. I'm not I'm very happy with that. Um Alright, let's keep exploring. Who's this dude over here? Oh, he's a trainer. Hold on now. Let, let me give a, a potion to my good old my my good friend uh Brown Beauty here, which I'm probably just gonna call it Beauty from now on. <laughs> Come on, beauty! Come on, beauty! Oh, he just spotted us. I rely on apps for traveling recommendations. You know some Google Maps is some app. It is a serious app. Like for just you know, just get around the place. It's pretty easy. Sightsee or Sky, who's kind of feminine looking. I'm not gonna lie. Well, he doesn't now, but he did back there. Really did. As we're going to send up Brown Beauty here. Come on, my beauty. Come on, my beauty. Let's go for the bulldoze. Nice and simple. You've got a regular ratata as well. I just noticed that. You have the regular ratata. Oh God, I love Stanima. That is such a cool ability. As bulldoze is going to do roughly half, but not quite. Let's go for another bulldoze. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, beauty. You got this. Nearly. Nearly. Nearly there. Nearly there. Goes for the pursuit. Ouch. That was a Lolan Ratatana. Now that could have hurt a lot more. Um, but we should we we'll lock this thing out next turn. I'm just going to go for the mud slap. And oh, he goes for quick attack. All right. As our Stanima comes into play again, I'm really loving Stanima. Really loving Stanima. But we knock out this Ratatana, thankfully, and down it goes. So we get a bit of XP, and so does the rest of the team. I guess we still have a master the recommended Ratatana. <laughs> You haven't got the recommended Ratatan in this region, boy. You need to get it. Stock up, man. Stock up. All right, let's go. Let's jump it down here. Get this item. The Adrenaline Orb. What is that? What is that? That is new. What is the Adrenaline Orb? Orb. Where are you? I know we've antidote revives. I know what they are. Come on. What is it? Suit belt. Grant. Yeah, I know what that is. Um, what was it? Adrenaline Orb. There we go. Using it makes wild Pokemon more likely to call for help. If held by Pokemon, it boosts speed when intimidated. It can only be used once. Interesting. Interesting. Trainer tips. When looking at your Pokemon's summary page, you can change the arrangement of its moves by touching a move, dragging it across. Low. Okay, okay. We got that. We get that. We got it. Um, let's see... What else we want to do here? Let's yeah, let's just keep Brown Beauty out in front. Let's keep Brown Beauty out in front. And hopefully, you can gain a few levels. And let's see what we encounter this time. It is a another Mud Bray. Okay, another Mud Bray. If this thing is like level thirteen, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh my God, that's annoying. That is annoying. Oh, don't be don't be doing this to me. Don't be doing this to me. I know something. I'm, just, I'm going to go out to Dartrix. Screw this. Screw this. But I'm going out to Dartrix. Archer, come on out. Make your make make your presence known. Make your presence known, my son. Look at this thing. Look at Dartrix. And does it affect? Ha ha. Right. I'm just going to go for Razor Leaf. I want to knock this thing out. I'm sick of this. Oh my god, look at Dartrix animation. You know, it's amazing. Um, all right, I think we just, we can go for an astonish here and just finish this thing off. As, oh my God, he's just he's just why he closes his eyes while doing it. That's insane, Dartrix. Tone down on the on the swag, please. As Brown Beauty gets level 13 as well, which is nice. Which is very very nice, very very nice. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Here is he. Is there something around here? Oh, that was a bit disappointing. Um, okay, hold on. Let me, let me heal up Brown Beauty. I'm going to get to the next checkpoint anyways before we wrap up today's episode. So we're not quite done there just yet. Don't worry. Um, let's 
drop a potion on brown beauty here let's definitely do that definitely and let's go up and see what this dude's got for us or maybe not let's see what's over here wait a minute Pokemon was feeding on berries and leaped at us. Or left. And it is. Oh, it's a crab, crab roller. <gasps> I really want one of these. I really want to use one of these as well, which is the worst. But I really want one of these. Alright, bulldoze. Let's do this. I'm catching this thing. Rock smash. Okay, we can deal with that. Stanima, come in. Come in. Thank you. Oh, defense fell and then the boost. That, that, that works out as nothing. Okay. Right, we, we definitely lower that guy's speed. I'm going to go for the Pokeball here. Uh, let's do it. And sadly, even though I really, really, really want to use Crab Roller, I'm probably going to avoid using it because we just... We, we really need a special attack for next. Or a water type. Or, you know, just to, just to patch, up some, uh, patch up our team. Well, he's a really cool mod, though. Really cool mod. Really cool mod. I gotta love it. But we, and I'm glad we caught it as well. It's such, look at his design. It is beautiful. Crab Roller. Awesome. Alright. Well, I'm not going to give you a nickname because I'm not going to use you, unfortunately. But, screw it. Screw it. At least we're getting a few of these berries now. And there's still more berries. Screw Crab Roller. We're, despite feeding on these berries, we get we pick up three of them. Beautiful. Alright, let's. I know there's an item down here. So let's pick up this item. Before we can get jumped by a, a wild Pokemon. That would be nice. As we come up against a Lillipop. Well, screw Lillipops. I'm not catching one of them. Even though Stoutland is amazing. Or looks amazing. I'm not, I'm not dealing with Lillipops. Thank you. We got away safely. That's the beauty. You gallop away. You gallop away. And you look amazing while doing it as well. I should pick up the energy route. Okay. Thank you very much. And let's kind of battle this dude. And I think we after that we'll wrap it up the first step to surpassing captain mallow is to strengthen my pokemon awesome i believe so this is where we face mallow with us i'm not too sure i'm not too sure i have to say i like his cook i love it. he's got the he's got the like the the little uh the pokemon in his uh you know i can't even remember the name of the cooking utensil but whatever it is it's got a cutie flight which is bug fairy bug fairy so that's not a great matchup for me because, you know, we, do, we don't do much. We just don't do much to it. So I'm going to send a Wolfhound and get Wolfhound to deal with it. Which would be a good idea. So out comes Wolfhound. And this cutie fly goes for the Silver Wind. And gets the crit. I'm not liking that. Uh, I'm not liking that one bit. So I'm just going to go for my bag. And I'm going to Super Potion up here. Don't see why not. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give give my wolf give my wolf his health back. Another fairy win. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Thank you. Right. Uh, no, I don't want to switch. I do not want to switch. I want to fight. I want to go for the rock throw. The rock throw. Oh, don't. Don't spore. You're going to do this to me, are you? You're going to do this to me. Don't be paralyzed. Thank you. Wolf found. Nice. We get the KO. We get a bit of XP. Brown Beauty gets a bit of XP. And it's all looking good. I lost. Let me have another. Not today, son. Not today. Or at least not in this episode. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap it up to here today, you guys. If you like today's episode, please click the like button down below for me. If you've got any comments on today's video, be it good, bad, or indifferent, let me know in the comment section down below. And as well, your answer to the question of the day above. And if you want to see more Pokemon Sun videos coming away on this channel or more Pokemon content in general, please click that subscribe button down below for me. And if you feel this video is worth sharing, please do so. All the support means the world to me. And on that note, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.